All right, so I just got the new iPad mini with the Apple Pencil. Uh, instead of going online and getting it delivered to the house, I figured I'd just go into the store, see what the you know, first day launch experience was like nowadays. Line wasn't too bad, you know, considering current circumstances. Um, took me about 15 minutes in and out, so not terrible. Um, so let's get back to the house and unbox it and get the first impressions. All right, so let's get this project out of the way. This is something for later. And let's go ahead and see what's in the bag, so to speak. So we went ahead and got the pencil too. That's gonna help me with some of the Tinkercad projects like this guy, let's slide him out of frame. And let's talk about this mini while we unbox it. So first of all, this guy has an 8.3 inch screen, uh, 500, 500 nits of peak brightness, uh, it's finally refreshed for 2021 with a new unibody aluminum language like all of the other more premium iPads, which is great. Uh, it looks, from some of the images I've seen, incredible. So I'm excited to get it unboxed and take a look at that. Uh, so the other part, it's similar to the iPad Air and Pro, like I mentioned. And I had the iPad Air in my cart, literally ready to purchase, literally like two days before this guy came out. This is more perfect for my needs and what I, what I plan to do. Ironically enough, um, I don't know if you guys watch Marquise Brown Lee, but he, he mentioned exactly something I had already built a prototype for on a 3D printer. So we'll show you guys that toward the end of the video. Uh, it's USB Type-C for the first time, which is great will fit with the rest of the stuff in my ecosystem perfectly. Uh, some people complained about the magnetic port for the Apple Pencil being on the top instead of on the side. Well, on the side, I should say, instead of, you know, on the top like it is on some of the, the larger tablets. Clearly, because of the size of the tablet and the design language, they couldn't do that. But that actually works better for me, having my buttons on the side, which they had to relocate, uh, because a lot of the things I'm going to do, the tablet will be in landscape mode to be probably more like this. So my buttons will be here, which will make it easy for me to, to toggle them, uh, especially uh, when I use this for like my uh, my DJI, it'll fit better. I had to build, I had to 3D print a little extension for my regular iPad Pro. This should fit, hopefully without many modifications, but we'll see. So I also didn't get the 5G model because it doesn't support my current wireless carrier. Um, some people say battery life's average, but again, this isn't gonna be like a daily driver device to the point where it's all I'm using. I have a MacBook Pro, but it'll be a second screen for me when I wanna do things on the go, especially traveling in the car or you know on multiple flights. That's one less bulky thing I have to carry. Right now I'm carrying my iPad uh, Pro from 2017, and it does take a little bit of space up in the, um, in the laptop bag. Some people say this is pocketable. You know, me being a, a taller, larger guy, this will probably fit in my jean pockets. So that's something to consider. Um, one of the great selling features for me was the fact that it had the ultra wide lens for center stage support uh, with my daughter and most of my family members having um, iPad devices or iOS devices. My daughter always wants to FaceTime people. So her moving back and forth and being an active, you know, five-year-old, this will keep her in frame, which is perfect, especially when, you know, when you're talking to grandparents or you're talking to aunt and uncle and your daughter just runs off to the side of the screen. This will keep her in focus. So we'll definitely get a look at that. Um, the other reason, the main reason I got the pencil, uh, some people thought it was kind of an odd choice to pair this with the mini. You know, some people are saying, you know, just get the, just get the, uh, the air of the pro. Well, for me, again, the size matters, and I'll explain that later. But being able to doodle and edit, you know, some of my uh, my CAD files and Tinkercad straight on this little small tablet is perfect. Uh, so for me, that that was more of a selling feature than getting a larger tablet uh, that I'd have to carry around. So. I've rambled enough. Let's go ahead and get this unboxing started. We'll go ahead and start with the pencil first, and you know, leave the um, leave the mini for you know the grand finale. Let's go ahead and peel that off. So 
So you just have literature in here, recyclable cardboard, of course. And this is the pencil too with the magnet right here on the flat side or cellophane wrap to pull off. And that's it. The pencil too is not really that new. You know, a lot of people already have had them. But I've decided to go ahead and get it, like I said, for my use case. So we'll go ahead and move this off to the side. And now, let's go ahead and open this mini. Again, I opted for the 256 gig model instead of the 5G model. Uh, I'm just going to hotspot it to my phone when I'm in the car or use my car's hotspot. That's most of the time when I'd be using it outside of the house and not near Wi-Fi. So for me, the data plan didn't matter as much. And of course, you get the wall charger, USB Type-C to Type-C cable, which I'm extremely excited about because now... I'm gonna take my anchor power brick with me everywhere. I actually bought a second one because that anchor will charge my MacBook Pro, my work laptop, uh, this iPad now, and my phone. So, and my headphones, of course. So that's great. So, but enough about that. Let's go ahead and get back to business. So this button right here is gonna be your touch ID as well as your power button. No button on the bottom, same design language as the Pro and, you know, the Air now. Yeah. Picks up fingerprints uh, fairly well. So here's your camera on the back. That center stage wide angle camera on the front. Everything else is, you know, business as usual for an Apple product. So while it's booting up, a couple other features to talk about. Uh, you have stereo speakers on the top and the bottom. And the Apple Pencil goes there. So. Everything from here is pretty much standard when you buy, you know, a new Mac product. So we'll go ahead and set this up. And then I will show you guys the surprise that I wanted to uh, test out. Okay, so while the iPad finishes its setup, the last thing I actually wanted to show you guys was this wall mount I actually made for the Mini. It's a little rough around the edges and I needed to get the actual product in my hand to fine tune it. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. But here's what I have so far. I have six mounting holes. Uh, you don't have to use all six of them. This is a PoE to USB type C and ethernet converter, 290 degree angle adapters for our Type-C connector, and then that comes out here. You can mount it to the wall via these four points and drill these two out if needed. I built a little ledge here so that you can actually slide the iPad in. I'm not going to do it now because like I said, this is still a little rough and I want to clean it up, uh, clear out some of the edges and stuff like that. But I'll show you guys this on the next video. I'm going to actually widen the lip a little bit so it fits a little bit more comfortably. I don't want to scratch up the frame on here, uh, but look forward to seeing that in the next video. And this is going to go on the wall. I'll be able to use this to dock and charge the iPad, basically, as well as use it as my home hub or home automation console so to speak so look forward to that on the next video guys i will see you guys later remember to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you see when i actually put this guy in the wall here in the next week or so